What is up guys, Frankie here. So I am recording this intro in post as after reviewing the footage, I wasn't too happy with the original shot. So to summarize, right after work, we rushed to the Shinkansen or the bullet train. We arrived at Hiroshima station. We walked to our hotel, checked in and grabbed something to eat. We initially wanted to hit one or two places before the night ended, but of course by this point in time everything was closed. So in the end it was just a lot of uh, mundane vlogging footage and I didn't want to bore you guys. So I figured I'd just give you a quick recap of what happened. But before we get into the actual video, I just have to say thank you so much for the support. In one month, or 28 days I believe, we actually went from 100 subscribers to 450, which is just absolutely insane. I genuinely appreciate all the kind things that you guys say in the comments and all the interactions that we have. So, hopefully you guys are enjoying the channel and hopefully you guys stick around. But if you're new here, my name's Frankie, I live in Japan, and retro game hunting and collecting is kind of one of my biggest hobbies, so there's a lot of that. So if you end up enjoying the video, please hit that like button, and hopefully you like what you see and you consider subscribing. But without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Good morning guys, it's Frankie here. So we are currently in Hiroshima right now, and uh, we just woke up, we stayed in a hotel. Uh, so what we have planned for today is we're going to visit the Pokemon Center, the Hiroshima War Memorial, and then there are a couple uh, video game shops, such as a giant book off bazaar, which is usually like a two or three, four book off. Uh, we are aiming for 500 subscribers before the end of the year, so hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the video. Let's get going. Well, it's Checo time, so we're gonna go take the city tram, stop at the station so we can uh, put our suitcase in a coin locker, and then from there we'll head out. <laughs> So we need the coin lockers and we're at the station so we have to go this way. Trying to find the coin lockers. Oh, I see it on the sign there. Keep going straight. That's cool. Put the lock, put the thing in. And then you close it. Oh, we pay when we're done. Oh, okay. So we're 207. There you go. Okay, we're done. Uh, we're looking for streetcar number one because we are going to the area with the Pokemon Center and that's where everything is, so we're going to catch a car. On the streetcar. We are off the tram, which is right there. Oh, I can feel the rain. So now we got to go downstairs so we can technically cross because I don't think you can cross here. Of course, there's a weird little underground shopping center, like usually everywhere. In the center, there's like a library and there's snacks and stuff. Bought a couple umbrellas from 7 uh, Eleven because we're gonna need them. And we are out of the station. Okay, so we are done eating and we officially have a plan because there, are, aside from the book off, there's also two other video game stores really close. So uh, we're gonna hit things in order of proximity. So we're gonna start off with the Pokemon Center and then we should be able to see the Atomic Bomb Dome. And then from there, it's book off and then the two other stores. Um, there's another one that's a bit farther off that we might catch a tram to go see. So we'll just have to see, uh, obviously, how, how much time has passed. Uh, so yeah, that's, where, that's our plan for the day. Let's go check it out. And we found the Pokemon Center, but there's no street crossing, so we got to go underground. Pokemon Gachapon, hell yeah. Gonna get a tote bag for our work outfits. <laughs> oh, it's an actual Pokeball. Alright, I'm assuming. Nope. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, I think I got that one. She got this one. I got the one that I wanted. You just literally need tote bags for our work uniforms because we always use real, like, crappy grocery store bags, so this is good. Anyways, let's get inside. That's oh so my gosh, cute. those are so cute. Little button eyes. Mm. All the Christmas stuff. Leia's considering getting a Sprigatito. All the Pokemon plushes that you could ever ask for. Found another Ivysaur, thank goodness. There's the amazing little Pokemon figures from Tomy, I believe. Yeah. So I got my gigantic haul, and Leia got a big bag full of stuff as well. So we'll show you guys when we get home. There's just Pokemon art all around this place. It is amazing. Next stop is the uh, Atomic Bomb Dome. So. We picked the worst time to get gigantic hauls at the Pokemon Center, so we gotta walk around with this all day. It was your idea. Yeah, it was my idea. Okay, well, let's get going. So, underground signs tell us to go down this way, and we'll eventually make it there, so hopefully that works out. Thankfully, we found a coin locker in this uh, station, so we can get rid of these for a little while, but we'll come get them on the way back. Peace Memorial Park, let's go. 
Also got some uh, lemonade. It's delicious. Oishi desu. So here lies the remains of one of humanity's worst crimes. It's so sad being here. To think of, I think it, I think 200,000 people pass away when they drop the bomb. People literally just erased from existence. Entire families gone. Pieces of artwork that are never going to be recovered. Um, just wiped from the face of the earth in an instant. And let's hope that it never happens again. Here, all done at the Atomic Dome, uh, or the Memorial Peace Park as it's named. And so I guess from now, to uh, lighten up the mood here, we are going to go to the Book Off. I believe that's the closest one first. So we'll go check that out, so stick around. Are we going to walk there? Yeah, we're going to walk there. <laughs> Okay, now we're like two minutes away. It's apparently down here. And here is the book off. And of course, I am on the lookout for old school uh, Tomy Pokemon figures. So if I ever find some, I will always pick them up. Oh, and big sloking. <laughs> There's a gigantic Master Roshi that's really tempting to buy. This was at actually the Jumbo store for even more than it's sold for here, so we might get it. Oh, God, help. Uh -huh. Here's the games, of course. Got the glass cabinet. The Zelda right there is pretty tempting, but it's in kind of rough shape, so I don't think I'm going to get it. Fortunately, they don't have too much in the in the realm of Game Boy that's out on the shelves. This is literally it. I don't know what this game is, but I kind of want it. Here's a Super Nintendo. Of course, you got tons of uh, loose games, <laughs> if that's your thing. There's actually quite a bit of Super Famicom here. Do I need any of these? Um, I honestly don't remember. Look at the color difference. Yeah, I know. You can tell which one's in the best condition. So, Samurai Men. Oh, I remember this one. Do you remember that one? No, I've oh. never seen it in my life. I used to watch as a kid. I've already got this one. Yep. Of course, Diddy Kong Racing. Probably like the best kart game of this generation. Mario Kart 64 is good, but this one did so I'm, much. I'm also tempted Such a good to game. find it, but there's like a really bad bent on the back, like right here, if you really look carefully. Oh yeah, squish. So, is it worth it for 10, 11 bucks? Yeah, it's really when it comes down to it, it's up to you. Okay. This is a game I eventually need, but I don't want to pay this much for it, so maybe in the future, but not right now. The double pack is cheaper than the sum of the two single games, so that's kind of strange. I don't have them yet, so I might get this. Some general electronics if you need it. Old school iPod, so that brings me back. Well, not too old school, but since the fifth generation iPod Touch. Cameras. Oh. I really want to get a Sony Alpha camera someday. Now, this is what I need in the future. Sony Alpha Mark IV. That is so awesome. Tons of Pokemon cards, as usual. Got some uh, DS's and 3DS's here. Got some Mini Famicoms, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. Some more random stuff. And tons of loose consoles. They're always here, just chilling. There you go, GameCube for $80. Here's some more random loose. DS's. I think there's something wrong with them, that's my guess. Hell yeah! One of my sections found the guitars. Here's some used phones if you need them. Google Pixel 5a for 280 bucks. I don't think I'd pay for that, but you know. Oh, Galaxy Note 10. I definitely need myself a portable monitor sometime, but I don't want to buy this. But I definitely need a second one. Okay, we are all done in book off. We didn't bother going downstairs to show you because it's just clothes and home items, but... <laughs> we got a big giant haul. We spent a little over 200 bucks just in there, so you're going to enjoy the recap when we get back. And I believe there's two more places to go, but Leia... Well, we're both running low on... Cash. Um, 
spendable money. <laughs> so uh, we'll just see what, what we can find. We're on to the next place, which I believe is called Lepton. This is a really cool building. I like it. So there, there was this other store that we wanted to go to. It's called Anaya. Um, but when we arrived, the entire building was converted into a salon, so the retro game store doesn't exist anymore, so that's kind of sad. But we're still on the way to the next one, which is called Lepton, so hopefully that has some good stuff. We'll show you when we guys get there. We'll show you guys when we get there. English. So we just walked past a building called Lepton, same company, but they were selling only golf equipment. But on the map, it shows it being a block and a half further away, so... I don't know what's going on. Thank goodness we found it. Lepton. See, we thought that it was in this building here, which is clearly under renovations. Let's go. All right, we found the store. do eventually need a PSP. This is the first Virtual Boy I've found and it's $330. I don't have the money for it. I'm so sad. PS2 is actually pretty tempting. So unfortunately that place was kind of a bust. Uh, Leia found a few things she wanted, but there's nothing that I needed, so I, I took a pass. Yeah, there was the Virtual Boy in there, which I haven't even seen but I just don't have 300 bucks. <laughs> and there's this really adorable Game Boy Pocket, the non-colored version, but the smaller version of the big fat boy. And it had these really, really old Pokemon gold and silver stickers on it. But the, the language of the Pokemon were in different names. Like the Feraligator was like Ordile or something like that. So it's from a different country, which is interesting. Tempting to buy just because it had these like old stickers on it. It was definitely well loved back in the day, but eh, I took a pass. Yeah, so right there it says Repton, but Godofu. So it's just Lepton Golf. And then down the road, there's a small video game store with the same company. Weird. Look at that handsome boy. <laughs> Looks like we're back in the book off area. We're gonna, we have to cross. So we're gonna take the spiral uh, pedestrian crosswalk and take a nice video and photo up there. Going up. Here we are. Not bad. Sorry. We're just standing here and it starts shaking, but Leia thought it was me. I'm like, I don't, I don't have the strength to make a, a giant pedestrian overpass made out of metal bounce. Thought it was an earthquake. Probably just vehicles. So actually, we got to go retrieve our Pokemon Center stuff. So <laughs> we got to go underground. I almost forgot. Yeah, you did forget. Tired of walking, but unfortunately, we have to go all the way to the end of that hallway. <laughs> it's almost a kilometer of hall. We are going to hopefully be home by seven, so we have time to record the outro video for this and then have some time to rest our legs before we go to bed because we have to wake up at 6 a.m. for work tomorrow so I won't be able to get this video edited right away but obviously when it's up you'll be watching it so hope you guys enjoyed. We almost freaked out because we thought we screwed up somehow and we're at the wrong place but no we are here. And now it's back at Hiroshima Station so we have to go find our locker and then go to the Shinkansen. I have no idea how to retrieve the suitcase, but we have a receipt, so we'll figure it out. Do you have the receipt? Oh! Oh yeah, you scanned the QR code. I'm pretty sure you scanned the QR code on the receipt. Baggage retrieving. Yes. Oh, it automatically opened. Hell yeah. It's gonna be really tough to record when I'm carrying a suitcase, so I don't know how this is gonna work. We've got a line up here for the tickets. Shinkansen. Oh, oh yeah, reserve tickets. From Hiroshima. Shisanyo Shinkansen. Okay, I'm right there, pink. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Today. Okay, so we got our tickets. We have to go to track 14 and we have a reserved seat on part four where we can sit in peace. Okay, we got five minutes until the train gets here, so we got to go line up at cart number four. So row 17. These are so big and comfortable. This is awesome. Tray. My sandwich got all squished in the bag. Now I'm sad. <laughs> My sandwich was still delicious. No regrets. Why are you doing your hair on the train? <laughs> Weirdo. And we're off 
love the Shinkansen. It's always so much fun to ride. I don't know why. It's so smooth and nice. Put them in. Our train doesn't come for 15 minutes, but we're waiting early so we can get a seat right away because we have a lot of luggage. So hopefully it, we get a seat. We're finally almost home. And we're off. We are home. Almost. And we are finally home. So we can do the great big reveal of all the stuff we got. So, so like usual, we'll start with Leia's stuff. I uh, will show the toys and stuff first and then the games. And then same thing for me afterwards. So my toys and stuff and then my games. So... Here we go. So first up, we have Ivysaur, the official Pokemon Center plushie, because we all know that she loves Bulbasaur. Second, we have Stuffle, which is a unique kind of Christmas style uh, plush. It's got these uh, little buttons for eyes, so that's cute. Third, we have a Cyndaquil, also one of Leia's favorites. Uh, she's got a couple of these, a really big one too, but now she has an official Pokemon Center one. Uh, Hisuian Zorua, which is uh, from Pokemon Legends Arceus. It's just a different version of Zorua, who turns into a normal ghost type. And next, we have Boo! She got a Boo figure. It's weird because it has holes in the feet, but the box was complete. So you'd think he's supposed to stand on something. He's standing. The boy's standing all on his own. High five. And next, we have a, a small Pichu Tomy figure. A palm. Not sure what this is from, but she likes it. It stands up. Next, we have this Tomy Mew uh, figure. I believe it's from 2005, I think. But uh, we might, we're probably, or she's, this is hers, so she's probably going to keep it in the box because it's. If it's this old and it has a box, it's kind of cool. And then next we have her games. First we have for N64, we have this game that just says Shidane 2, no idea what it is. She doesn't know what it is, but she thinks it looks cute and she wants to play it. Does it look fun? Yes. That's a, that's a resounding yes. And then she got Tetris 3. I've never ever seen this in my life, so this is cool. I don't, I don't know if we got all these kinds of Tetris in North America, so. Then she got Super Mario Party for the Switch, because she has one of them, but not the other. And then we have Bayonetta 2, which is, well, Bayonetta 2 for the Wii U. I don't even know if she's ever played these. Have you? Never played them in your life? I just know her from Smash Bros. And then we have this. Translator? I have no idea. We have no idea what it is. Something something Tatsujin. I can't read a lot. I can't read the first two. Now on to the next stuff, which is mine. So I got a little, I got an old school, uh... Pidgey Tommy toy. This is a quite an old one. I believe it's from the first generation release, so I had to get it. Two bucks. And then also this little uh, transparent Bulbasaur with a hollow body. Uh, they sell these in cardboard boxes at convenience stores, but I usually don't buy them. But this one is from 1996, so I had to get it. Yeah. Oh, a $100 Charizard plush. He's huge, and he's, he's so high quality. Like, his stuffing is really nice. This is the most money I've ever spent on a toy in my life, and it's a $130 official Pokemon Center Charizard plush, probably 20 inches tall if I had to guess. <laughs> Next, as for games, we got Pokemon Sword and Shield Double Pack, because I actually do not have them yet. So they come like this, but they're in the box. Funny thing, these games are still going used for like almost $40, but for some reason the double pack was 5,900 yen. The games were cheaper and they come with a cardboard box, which is usually more of a collector's item, so it's strange that it's cheaper. So next we got this. I have no idea what it is. It's just star version because a bunch of games try to do what Pokemon does. And then this as well, which is the sun version. Um, I don't know what it is. It just looks like another RPG monster catching game, probably, maybe. And then, finally, I got Super Mario and the Six Golden Coins, which is the sequel to the first. A condition, you know, it's not that great, but I don't have this in box yet, so I figured I would pick it up. Anyways, thank you for watching. I know it wasn't a gigantic haul, but uh, Hiroshima wasn't as good as Osaka, at least for video games. Uh, the city itself was nice. There was a lot of cool things to see. Uh, but yeah, as for games, it's a little eh. But it was amazing to see a Pokemon Center. The place was huge and mm -hmm. it was amazing. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you. And <laughs> see, she says thank you. Please and thank you. Um, yeah, so I, got, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So, we'll see you guys in the next one. Do you approve? Ah, no. <laughs> She's going to take Pichu and run. What are you doing? No, <laughs> <laughs> see you later.